Hello there everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Billy. This is Crafting Cake with Billy. Um, I'm happy that you guys are here with me today and we are going on with our cereal box challenge. <laughs> Not really a challenge, but um, I am making different items for junk journals out of cereal boxes or any boxes you have laying around the house. It's a wonderful way to recycle and it's a pretty cheap way to spruce up your junk journals. So um, the last video I showed you, we made um, these cute little notepads together and these are made out of cereal boxes. If you missed that video, I will link it below. But um, these are very simple and wonderful little add-ins to your junk journals or any sort of journal you may, may keep. Um, some people do prayer journals and some people just like to keep track of what's going on in their lives. Whatever sort of journal you like, these are perfect. Um, I also showed you these flip tags that can be made from cereal boxes as well. These are a lot of fun and they're super cute and super easy. So those are a couple of items and I'll link those videos below. But today I thought we could work on some sort of bookmarks because uh, you know, you can always use a bookmark whether it's in a junk journal or if you're reading a book. It's always nice to have a cute bookmark. So I started on these the other day and I fussy cut these beautiful flowers. I added a cute little tag and a label to that one. Um, I backed this one with some stripe paper. I fussy cut these orange flowers and they kind of look like portulacas, maybe. Um, some writing paper and a cute little tag there. So I have a few that I have not yet worked on. These, let's see how large these are. They're like three inches by three by eight. So um, you can use your, you can just use like pieces of a cereal box to cut a three by eight piece of cardboard and it gives it much more stability. So it's better to have like a piece of cardboard than to use just regular paper. And they hold up much better. So yeah, just cut out that three by eight and you're gonna cover it with any sort of paper that you like, any sort of scrapbook paper, or you can just use some book paper or whatever you like. And then um, just get something, if you have like stickers or something, you can use those. I like to use just cute little floral images. I like to take time and just cut out little floral images. That's what I do while I'm watching TV when I, when I get a chance to do that. I like to cut out. Fussy cutting is so much fun to some people, I guess. So I have these little images that I could use. I like that pink and green together. But I kind of want some words, so I'm going to use a page from a book that I've already cut. And um, I just want the words. And there's a beautiful image here, so I, I dare not tear through that pretty image. I'm just gonna kind of go around just like this. And I have some words there. I will use my Distress Oxide Vintage Photo. Believe it or not, that's really the only color <laughs> that I own. I have um, alcohol ink in a few different colors, but that's really the only ink pad I have other than, you know, black. 
for stamping. All right, I'm just gonna go around that and I'm gonna find where I want this to. And then I'll just ink around that. I know you're asking, why did you ink the other part? Because I'm gonna use that as well on a different one. And half of it will already be inked when I get to when I get ready to use it. So I just try to think ahead a little bit. All right, so let's add that to our bookmark. Do we have a lot of readers out there? You guys like to read? I like to read. It's always good to have extra bookmarks laying around. All right, so I'm just gonna add that. If I have overhang, that's fine. I can just snip it at the end. Okay, I like that. Let's get a focal point here. I'm loving this green and pink together. And it is nice to have just some of that writing poking out. I like that look. I like to have some florals in the forefront. Okay, what I'm gonna do is just ink around in just places. I hope you guys don't mind the inking sound. It's quite relaxing to me. What do you guys think of that? I like it. So I'm just gonna add some glue right down the center. If I have extra, I'll just cut it. I'm just gonna sit this here. Cause I still wanna see some of that writing poking out there. So we can still see the writing. All right, so now I do have some overhang. I'm just gonna snip it off. You could probably um, just fold it over the back if you like, but I'm gonna snip mine. And then if I make another one, I can always still use like a leaf or something like that. So it'll still be used. I like that. So we have our writing, we have our flowers in the forefront. And how about a label? Let's do a label. Those labels are always cute. Um, I don't know how relevant they are, but uh, I like them. I don't think they really have to be just like the look of some writing. I think the font is what really makes things stand out. So I sort of like that one. I'm gonna give it some ink. And guys, my, um, <laughs> my hole punch, my single hole punch broke. And I need to pick up another one when I go to the Dollar Tree. But if push comes to shove, I will use my three hole punch to make one hole. You can do that, you know. So I'm gonna kinda eyeball the center. I'm gonna try to eyeball the center of this bookmark. And it's about here. And I'm just gonna grab my three hole punch. 
I have a three hole punch. I'm just gonna push it back and then works like a charm. So now I have my hole. And then we can maybe add some eyelash trim so that we have something pretty to look at. I'll go with some green eyelash trim. Oops. I hope everybody's doing well. I don't know if I've said that, but I do. I hope you guys are getting out and enjoying some nice summer weather. I don't know how many of you guys garden or plant flowers, but it's always lovely. Look at that. Cute, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm just going to cut it down a little bit. So look at that. I love that. Okay. I'll get that later. Okay. So what if we just add... What if we add some eyelash trim to these as well? Now let me show you the easy way to do this. So I'm just gonna get some eyelash trim. Let me see how much. This is about 13 inches. I'll get between 10 and 13. Cut it. And then you're gonna um, fold it in half like that so that the ends touch. Here's your loop here at the end. And you're gonna push your loop through the hole. Push your loop through the hole if you can. And once you push it through the hole, here's your loop. And you're gonna push your two loose ends right through that loop and pull that way you don't have to like knot it but it stays in place now if you want a longer one you can leave it long if you want it shorter you can snip the end and then there you have it and then let's do one more just to make sure you have it all right, so we are gonna get some eyelash trim. You can use ribbon. You can use any sort of trim you have on hand. But there's your loop. Stick your loop through the hole. And there's your loop. Stick your two ends through that loop and pull. I know I used to make um, little tassels and things and I'd make, I would tie it in a knot and it just didn't look right. But this is a much simpler way. So these are our bookmarks aren't these nice so very cute and they're gonna go well in my next journal so if you're interested in making any of these cereal box crafts I will link all of the videos below which are tutorials that show you exactly how to make them it is a wonderful way to recycle and make some beautiful items for your journals. So guys, thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate you. And if you would take a moment to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate that so very much. And I will talk to you guys soon. Take care, have a wonderful day, bye.